Hi guys, Alice Taylor here, and today we're going to look at the Cobra King F6 Plus driver. So I've just tested the F6 normal one, we're going to go F6 Plus now. So let's have a look at the technology in the head, and then we're going to hit eight real balls on flight scope, give you a bit of feedback how it looks and feels, and most importantly how it performs. Might this be something that goes in your bag for this year? Okay guys, so we've got the Cobra King F6 driver. So we can move the weight anywhere from up near the face for low spin, further towards the back to make it more forgiving. And we've got five different settings on there that they would suggest. We've still got the adjustable loft with the MyFly loft. Uh, obviously in this one, we've got it in the blue head. Got the Cobra emblem just on top in the middle of the crown. And around the face, we have got the speed channel, just for those slightly off-center strikes to try and keep that ball speed up there. Okay guys, so some good technology in there and really for kind of fine-tuning to make sure we get the best launch conditions possible. So I've got this set nine and a half, all the way up near the face, so in theory low spinning, stiff shaft, blue head. So again, choice of colors, but blue for this one. So behind the ball, I think it looks good. I mean, in the F6, I tested the white head. Um, probably for this model, preferred how the white looks, but that's just a, a personal preference. Very solid. Good flight. I certainly launched well and seemed to fly pretty well through the air. Probably just on first shot for me, Maybe felt a little bit harder off the face than the F6, but let's hit a few and kind of see how that feels. So again, I think it looks good behind the ball. I know everything setup wise is good for me. And again, yeah, definitely for me feels a little bit harder. Now, some of you guys will love that. Some might prefer that kind of feel of a little bit more of a quick face. I'm sure the face still is quick. You know, we're looking for a smash factor of 1.5, so transfer that energy from club head to ball, maximum that we can. But first two shots were good for me, just maybe feel-wise for me, not quite what I would go for. And again, definitely harder than a lot of the stuff on the market that I've tested so far. So we'll maybe hit another couple on camera. I'll finish off on camera and then we'll look at some numbers. Okay. A little bit towards the toe. I guess it's gone really, really well though. So I would say this is still very, very forgiving. Even though the weight's up near the face, this probably isn't the most forgiving it could be set up. But for me, I'm always looking to kind of keep the spin down on my drives. So let's have maybe one more, and then we'll look at some numbers. Again, very, very good. Probably just shape this one a little bit more than F6. No real reason. I think decent strike so far. But I'm gonna hit these last three off camera. We're gonna look at some numbers, and then we'll come back and give you an overview on the Cobra King F6 Plus. Right then, guys, so we look at the eight shots, and I mean, all in all, some really, really good carry. To be fair, shots four and five were not my best, but we're going to leave them on there just to give the average. So an average carry of 254, average total 285. So really, really impressed with those numbers. Club head speed 106, so probably about right. And again, ball speed up over 155 as an average. And the final one almost getting to 160. So shot number three was kind of where I'd love my spin to be with all of them. But spin generally just a, a touch higher, but I am being picky. I'm launching around 12 and a half. Just all in all, really, really good numbers from the King F6 Plus driver. Okay, guys, so we've looked at some numbers. And I mean, distance-wise, I thought they were impressive. Launch angle was good. Probably for me, just a touch on the high side spin. Now, that is set for low spin. So... And there was one in there that was very, very low, which I think I've hit perfectly out the right place. 
So spin may be a little bit more down to user error of not hitting it flush out the correct place every time. But even without the numbers being exactly what I was after, I'd definitely take the distance that I've hit those. So performance wise, yeah, I mean that, that was very good for me. And again, it just highlights the key of getting fitted. You know, the more and more driver tests I do, you know, I see that a lot of them go very, very similar because I'm able to get the launch angle right, spin rate pretty much where I would want. Therefore, as long as I swing at the same speed, the ball's gonna be there or thereabouts every time. So, performance-wise was good. Looks-wise, yeah, I like that. I, th I think choice of colors in head. I don't dislike the blue head. Um, probably preferred the white of the F6 though. Um, feel, probably the only little negative for me. I did feel it was just a touch hard off the face. Having said that, like I said, some of you guys will love that feeling, and that's just a personal preference. So all in all, Cobra King F6 Plus was good. Really liked it, got some good performance out of it, and I think it's very, very adjustable, but the key is get yourself set up, get it right for you. So guys, as ever, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, leave any comments below. My review video for the F6 will be on my channel, so if you haven't watched that, please watch it and you can see how the two drivers performed. It's closed data, so you'll get a like-for-like -like comparison between the two. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.